What's up, everybody? This your boy. I have this on. What's up, everybody? This your boy Lolo, aka I'm your Sancho, back with a another motherfucking video. Baby. So, what we are going to be doing is uh, something. Uh, what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be converting our OEM tail light lenses to clear lenses. Now, this isn't for everybody. Not everybody is a clear tail light, clear headlight fan. Um, in my opinion, I'm a fan. Uh, I just, it's just old, you know, just seeing like the, the red and whites, the black and whites, the red, amber and white, and it's just, it's old, it's ugly. And I've never been a fan of uh, stock tail lights. As you can see, as all my other cars I've had, they've all had something to do with clear tail lights or at least being innovative and being different. So you'll see a couple cars out there that they have clear tail lights and I mean, in my opinion, it looks good. It's different and it's just, in my opinion, it just contrasts so much better than anything, really. It can be like a DUI, 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 DIY on pretty much how to take off your tail light lenses or headlight lenses works the same way and replacing them with new lenses. Also, for some of you out there, um, they do not sell entire taillight um, housings or assemblies, so they only sell lenses. So this also will help with some of you guys that are struggling with uh, trying to modify your taillights, pretty much having nothing else to to go with because either they're, char char either they're charging an arm and a leg for taillights or they don't sell parts for your tail lights. For example, a uh, while back uh, we did Jay's NSX, we did his uh, tail lights, we did the Showmo tail lights, and we ended up cracking a lens, and uh, that lens alone was like, I think a solid like $200 for a lens. One lens, one side. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of money uh, for just a lens. A lens, one side. So, yeah, you don't want to fuck your tail lights up, guys. So, unless you got an NSX or you got the money, stop breaking shit. So, without further ado, let's go. Obviously, since these are super used up, when you heat up your tail lights, it's gonna it's gonna fuck it up. It's gonna fuck up the paint regardless. So typically, you're supposed to get a chrome or silver metallic spray paint, and you're supposed to spray paint the inside. Um, but I couldn't find it, so I decided to go ahead and uh, get this Universal Color Match uh, silver metallic spray, uh, and then also <clears throat> just add extra shine to it and protection to it. Uh, we bought a bunch of clear coat for it. If you get that chrome metallic spray, you obviously don't have to do this. I recommend just going to Summit Racing and getting getting it from there because it's just going to save you a big headache. see the flakes like the glossiness in it 
So I think using this paint is gonna make it shine just a lot more, you know? But I don't know, we'll see you after. Uh, you're gonna want to put your silicone all around here because you want to prevent the water from getting inside and then me this is just me you don't have to but for me i always place a layer right here just to put it on there just so i have that extra protection make sure it's still there so we're gonna go ahead and put that on there and see how it looks not bad looking pretty good now this is just me but I use a hot glue gun so I can get it to sit on there nice and so I can get it to sit there nice and tight. Okay. And then you get your silicone, you get your silicone and you seal up all these little gaps like this for sure needs to be sealed up. You're only sealing this up because one, you want it to hold in there. And then also because you want to prevent water from getting inside from your beautiful little paint job you just did inside. No, but for real, so it doesn't fuck up the, the the bulbs, and then also so you don't have like water hanging out from right here and shit. But yeah, that's um, that's why you want to silicone it. You want to seal it nice and good. So now, what you're gonna want to do? Take your caulking gun or your hand squeezable silicone, and once you stop licking my caulking gun. I have a visitor. Not a visitor, but I have a somebody disrupting me. I'm gonna go all around the tail light. Can come out super fat or not. It doesn't matter because you're supposed to clean it up when you're done anyway. Like I said, this is to prevent water from getting inside. If you don't do this, you don't have to, but it's a lot smarter if you do. You take that and you just run your finger all across it. Get ready to get dirty. And then you just clean it up. So typically you're supposed to put some like masking tape or whatever around it, you know, to hold it still. But since I decided to hot glue the whole damn thing, on the inside together, the hot glue is pretty much holding the lenses together. But we still have to let the silicone dry and I'm not driving the car tonight or tomorrow morning or anytime soon. So we're just gonna let the silicone dry and then we'll put these bad boys on tomorrow. sick especially on the red it looks pretty nice um one downfall though uh when you run clear tail lights you're gonna have to get leds or find a bolt test the same color for the function that they do so as you can see right here on my tail lights you can see that the running light is red which is also the brake light but that's just because that's a led like fast flash bulb but the reverse turn signals and the other brake light, the running light, is uh, they're all that same like halogen looking color. So when you run clear tail lights, I need to let you guys know you have to run, well, you don't have to run LEDs, but you have to run that color bulb because uh, before I ran clear tail lights, I had to ask a police officer, and also it depends on where you live too, but I had to ask a police officer, you know, if that was okay. They said it's all right as long as you know your your bulbs you know are the proper color that they're supposed to be well yeah shit's sick fucking love it so thanks for watching this video um i'm gonna try and upload a little bit more i know i've been slacking at that so yeah we'll we'll see what else we can come across so until next time until the next video 
just remember, suck it easy.